50 for the pussy. NYPD loving all the pussy. I'm looking for the pussy. Judge signed off on a warrant for the pussy. Probable cause with the pussy. Stop and get frissy all night with the pussy. I'm loving all the pussy. God throw cuffs on the winner on the pussy. Spending time on the pussy. Ten year long investigation on the pussy. Indictment on the pussy. Better call a lawyer who handling the pussy. I love all the pussy. Protect and serve every day for the pussy. I'm eating all the pussy. And I take a hollow tip bullet for the pussy. Bow. Comedian, amazing social media expert. He does a lot. Make some noise for Jason Berger in the motherfucking building. Oh, it's right Jacob now. Berger, but Jason Berger. Is Jacob, I'm sorry. It's I'm sorry. sorry. It's alright. I'm fucking shit up too. Take that. Oh, I don't know. I have to leave. Me. You get that right. You get that right. The interview's over. No, <laughs> fuck with you. My people will call your people. Yeah. Thanks for having me on, man. I appreciate it. You know, I'm glad you're here. Yeah, no, thanks for inviting me. I appreciate you it. You want to tell the people where you're from? Uh, yeah, I'm um, born and raised here in New York from the Bronx originally, um, now I live down in Manhattan, and um, you know, I'm having the time of my life right now, making content, working in TV and film, uh, going viral all the time, uh, it's a great, great time. Stirring up a lot of shit. Well, yeah, I mean, you got to always, you know, I think comedy, you gotta push the barriers a little bit, you gotta, put, you know, you can't play it safe, you know, I think that's the thing that differentiates New York comedy from LA comedy, is New York, we're not afraid to go there. Like, L.A. shit, a lot, a lot of the shit in L.A. is dry to me and stuff like that, you know, it's like, that's the thing that separates, like, New York is the wave to me. Yeah, right. So, what's your nationality? Um, Jewish, I guess. I mean, my ancestors came from Russia, but I don't know anything about Russia. I just say I'm a New York Jew, New which York means, Jew. Like, like, I don't go to Temple, I love Chinese food, good deals, and, and shikses, which are non-Jewish women, you know. Okay, okay. <laughs> in case you didn't want guess, yeah. I have an affinity for non-Jewish women, you know. Let's talk about Shameless. How, how is that, what's that about? Oh, well, I wasn't on Shameless. I won a short film contest they had back in 2014. Um, Explain to the people what's that about. Oh, well, Shameless is the show on Showtime. It stars um, William H. Macy, a lot of mm -hmm. people. It's been nominated for Emmys and things like that. So they had a short film contest um, where we had to create a two-minute film that basically showed uh, homage to season four that was coming up. So me and my colleague, Chris McGuire, um, we ended up winning it. We won $10,000. It was on Showtime.com. Producers and cast uh, were the ones that decided who the winner was. And at that time, that was when I was just starting out in the major TV film world, so it was a major validating moment for me where I was like, oh, wow, like I made something that, right, right. that was acknowledged by Showtime showrunners and, and A-list actors that I look up to. So, you know, as an actor, you need those moments in your career that are very validating, that make you realize, you know, all this hard work is, has been for something. And to get that recognition from, from the show was, was truly a blessing. So let, let me say some of your, your points right here, some of the important things you've done. Yeah. VH1, The Breaks, yes. you've been on The Power. Yeah. CBS Bull, yeah. Wonder Wheel, CBS Person of Interest. Yeah, a lot of shows, TV shows. TV yeah, shows. A, lot, a lot of acting roles. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's where I started uh, before social media. is. Uh, I started um, in the business, well, acting I started in 2011 when I had, had a comedy rap video that went viral called I'm a Jew, a rap about being a New York City Jew. That was wow. a, a boss beat. Um, and then, you know, I started doing TV, film, like little short film stuff to build my resume real. I'm still making a little bit of content. Uh, but then 2014 is when I started getting into TV film, like ma like going for the major league stuff, you know, I'm a manager right. and agent. So my first show was Show Me a Hero, which was uh, David Simon, the guy who created The Wire, which is like my favorite show of all time. Okay. So that was a lot of fun, and you know, I've just been continually, each year has been progressively getting better. I just worked on my second Woody Allen movie, too. I'm going to be in the new Woody Allen movie called Wonder Wheel. I've just seen with Kate Winslet coming out December 1st, so that was oh. a true honor working with two legends. Uh, and yeah, just you know, keep chugging away. Chugging away. When did you decide to, it was going to be comedian, also not just acting? Like, what, what made you say, oh, uh, I'm well, funny. Let me just fucking. Well, no, I mean, I've just always been a funny guy. I mean, I've always been natural with comedy. I think there's a long history. Jews were just very naturally funny people. Uh, I have some people in, the, in my family that were in show business as well. Um, I think it's just because I started with comedy rap, like the I'm a Jew thing, right. and then you know I started doing drama acting and other things like that. Um, and then this year in January 2017 is when I did my Donald Trump uh, parodies to Bad and Bougie and Soldier Boy. And those sort of like put me on the map. That's when I forgot my first World Star repost. And <laughs> that sort of like got the, got the things going. I realized, oh, I really do have a real talent for comedy. And this IG comedy seems to be a new lane that's giving a lot of people opportunity to do bigger things. 
So I've been sort of using the Instagram lane to help just get myself even further out there, and it's been a blessing, and I think I've been able to fucking hustle that shit, like, you know, really well, because in just eight months, I, I went, you know, I'm at almost 150,000 followers on wow. Instagram, and you know, it's been a blessing. I heard Instagram reached out to you about that video. Was it anything to do because of Trump, or, like... They didn't reach out to me. No, 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 they didn't, they didn't fuck with you? No. I heard they, they count, they took it down or they deleted No, that's a different video. video. I've done several Trump videos. That was what oh, we're talking okay. about is I did a Trump responding to Eminem freestyle. Okay. Uh, and I put it up yesterday and I was very certain it was going to do very well. But people got mad because they one of the lines that said about, um, you know, my flow stay mean. I've been grabbing Haley's pussy since the day she turned 18. And people got really upset about that. Yeah, yeah. Like, and the funny thing is, it's not the Trump supporters that, that, that flat. Yeah, Most sure. Trump supporters actually like the, the, the parody that do. They have a good sense of humor. It's the, it's the super ultra sensitive like liberals that like are like eh, cry like social justice uh, keyboard warriors and stuff like that <laughs> I and don't get me wrong I'm, very, I'm, I'm social justice of the core I used to be a social worker um, my family is very involved with civil rights African American community all the time but like sometimes people are just like too psychotic with it and, and they took down the video so What's your background, like your family? What do you guys, what's the family business? How was it growing up for you in the Bronx? Uh, well, both my parents are social workers. Uh, my dad has a private practice. He does, uh, like, individual counseling and stuff like that. Okay. My mom's an administrative social worker now at uh, Columbia University. And okay. I got to Columbia, too. I got my master's in social work. I used to work nice. uh, doing MICA counseling, which is mentally ill and chemically addicted. Um, so I did that for, like, two years in outpatient places in Harlem. And then I just fell out of love with it. I got laid off. I think this, the, there was a lot of things that led to that, but I remember there was a client talent show that we had, and, and I wrote this dope, uh, like, drug recovery rap to Beaver, Benzer, Bentley at Exhibit C. I remember and, that. And, 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 well, you don't remember the song, but you remember those beats. Those beats, yeah. Yeah, those, are, yeah, those are beats. I, I had, like, Burger, get it. I'm like, I believe in you. Like, it was mad positive. It was dope. Like, everyone's like, yo, Mr. Burger, you got bars. Because they, they didn't know. Like, so, uh, but then I don't think the clinical director liked that too much, so I got, like, ghost shortly after that. What other videos have you got heat for? Anybody, anything else? Um, no, not really. I mean, just uh, one recently I did with Don Goes Frazier uh, with the, with the do-rag thing, right, the do-rag. Right. Because basically, you know, Don Goes Frazier's the guy, the why the fuck you lying guy. Right. So in that sketch, you know, basically I'm harassing him at the top of it, I'm playing a cop. You know, it's a typical sort of scene you've seen play out a million times on street corners here in New York City between police and African-American youth. Um, and then, you know, he takes his cab to tell him, you know, show me respect, they take your hat mm -hmm. off. Takes off, he has a silky do rag on, and I'm like, oh, you didn't tell me you're wavy, like, wavy. and then like, and then I reveal that I had the same cap on, and then we dap up, and I'm like, because we ain't trying to drown these niggas, and like people <laughs> lost their mind because like they can't differentiate between a character of saying it and like me saying it. like people are like, like I'm like you don't also I'm not a cop too, like you don't get mad at like I, like if Seth Rogen did it in a TV show or something like that. You'll be laughing about it, but since it's Instagram, people get all upset about it. So. You, you know, you, you're a comedian and you're playing roles. Like, right. You, you gotta nothing should be off limits. You well, yes. Yeah. Well, it's also about it's more. all about context too. You know, right. it's like I think you need it's it's a, what's important. You can't just have this sort of like ah like it, like have this like gut reaction. They're just words at the end of the day. And right. Clearly, when I said it, it was in a loving sort of we have more in common than than we have different. Like that was the whole gist of the sketch, and you know. Let's face it, people all day, I mean, I hang out with black and Spanish people all day long, but they're like, you my nigga, you my nigga, like, you know, and, but that doesn't, does that mean I'm going around saying it, like, in my vernacular every day? Right, right. No, but I didn't, for the, for that character, for that sketch, it worked, and, it works, right. and that was one of my most viral sketches, because controversy is good, you know? That's amazing how everybody repost your videos, yeah. and you get a lot of love, yeah. like millions of views. Yeah. Like, you feel like YouTube is, is that platform right now, so just nah, fucking push? Nah, YouTube's whack. Nah, YouTube's whack. YouTube's whack. whack. You, got, you gotta go with, with Instagram. Instagram's the main pl platform. I mean, even Twitter's dying, I think. Yeah. Like, Instagram has kind of messed up YouTube in the sense that people don't have patience for 60 second long sketches anymore. I mean, for longer than for long, they, yeah, they don't have patience for watching it. So, that's one thing I've changed. I come from the long form sketch comedy world. Right. So, that was a, a switch up uh, mm -hmm. that my homie Ken Starr has kind of helped me build and know how to make funny stories right. all within the realm of 60 seconds. Of all the characters you play, um, which is like the most fun to you? I know you do the police role. People think you're a cop out there in these streets. Like, I which mean, one are your best one? Well, I mean, I say my brand. Well, I mean, uh, for the most part, it's uh, like my brand is definitely like the cop, the hip hop cop. Right. Like, that's sort of like my thing because, you know, most people when they play cop roles in these comedy sketches, it, it doesn't look genuine. It doesn't look real. Like right. me, like you know, if I, I throw the uniform on, like that's it. People are like, yo, this guy's a fucking cop. But then you know, obviously I come from the Bronx, grew up hard, like you know, and then I. Change the vernacular, like holy shit, like this dude's, yeah, you know. Like, you, you can talk so, to the streets. Yeah, so I mean, hip hop is obviously, and also rapping. I mean, 
Rapid Star started the business, and it's what ended up getting me going viral earlier this year. And then right. most recently, my For the Pussy thing, that was rap. So right. hip hop is very near and dear to my heart. I've you know been, I'm, I'm so I'm from the Bronx, like you right, know. Right. So I think hip, anything that's like involves rapping, I think that's sort of my specialty because most white uh, guys who do comedy rap are really trash. Yeah, that's right. And one thing I get accept, I get accepted by like a lot of people like, yo, you actually spit better than most rappers that right. have deals. And I've been in like cool places. I remember I was, one day I was hanging out. Hang out with like Paul Kane, like if we were doing freestyle cipher, like yeah, I was yeah. on the block smoking blunts with Paul Kane. Like yeah, he's not bad, like, like but like you know people just rap like this is like I grew up listening to on fucking DJ Clue mixtapes with Fab and shit. And now it's stack bundles, and now I'm rapping with you. Yeah, you know? you're rapping with them. Yeah. Did you go to like acting school or something like that? Uh, I took some classes once I got into the business. I took uh, like a class at William Esper, Stella Adler, UCB. Uh, but for the most part, I, I find I learned the best just from keep. Working, you know, you kind of learn along the way. And you usually write all your own scripts, or you have a crew of people. You have uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of times, well, with, with the sketch comedy, a lot of times, like I'll have a kernel of an idea, then I'll end up with like Ken or something, or like he's the one that Ken stars is the main person I do most of my content with. Yeah, you know, right. like smoke a blunt, and then like kind of just hash out the dialogue. Um, you know, just figure out sort of the camera setups, so, you know, master tight medium, right. and then we kind of just like. Roll the ad lib and then see what works and, and then we edit it. Most sketches, honestly, we come go from concept to shooting to editing to having it out like within two hours. It's quick, right? You just well, that's why I'm churning out so much content all the time. You know? That's amazing. What, what's next for you, like on the TV world? Like, uh, well, I just worked on Power. You know, uh, that was a real honor for season five. That won't be out till next year. Okay. Um, and then I should be in uh, this new show on Netflix called Seven Seconds. It's about uh, racial tensions in. Uh, is it Jersey City or Newark or I forget which one it is, but okay. I'm a cop, obviously. <laughs> um, so that'll be out sometime soon, and uh, the Woody Allen movie December first, and uh, yeah, just keep making content. How did how did you connect with Power? How did that work out? Uh, through my my uh, manager. Uh, you know, I bought okay. I I booked the breaks through the same casting director. Okay. So um, and Christy and they all knew me from social media because Fifty had reposted a sketch that I did with like my friend Gibby on Joseph who played Biscuit on Power in season four. Mm -hmm. So they knew who I was, and I worked with 50 on these promos for 50 Central as well. So when I went to the audition, and, like, I spoke to the cast director, Christine Cromer, and I was like, hey, just so you know, like, they know this shit, like, Jacob, like, they all know who you are from social media, like, trust me, we're going to get you in this season, and then the next day, you know, I got the call. That's amazing. Yeah. Is there any, like, somebody told me you have, like, a good luck charm, you take it you when you're on set and stuff like that. Is that true? Or no? Anything I don't know who told you any that. vibes? Who? Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know. If it I must just, be fun know. to be around you on the set, though. You definitely must keep be the entertaining person. Well, not room. really. I mean, you know? said, I mean, if I'm on a set like a TV show, I'm I'm all business. I'm I'm there to like you know I'm I'm there to work. I'm not there to like fuck around and flex for the gram like you know especially like if I, or if I do like collabos like mm -hmm. yeah we can have fun but like let's just shoot what we gotta shoot first like I don't like all this like I'm waiting an hour for people to show up like me I'm just taught like you know if you're if you're on time then you're late like yeah. I always come early but. There's a very rampant problem in, in our industry of people being late all the yeah. time, and it drives me fucking insane. And now that I'm popping, I got zero tolerance for it. I'm like, you know, I'm like, popping I'm, right now. well, I'm popping right now. I tell people that like, we used to make me be late. And I'm like, dude, I'm not, like, I'm way more popping than you now. Like, yeah, I'm not waiting on you. Like, you know, you wait on me. Like, you know, but, but I still end up going because I'm a nice guy and I learned to be a professional. I've grown up in being a professional. You know? Right, right. So. so how does it feel to be a celebrity now, walking around the streets? People want to take pictures with you. Your DM is popping right now, you know. Yeah, nah, it's, it's it's pretty wild. Like the the sort of being immediately thrown to the limelight. It's it's surreal. I walk down the street, people stop me, take pictures all the time. I go to I go to like the hardest hoods, and people are like, oh, it's Jacob. I went to the Fresher Dig music video shoot the other day in the Bamas in East New York, and yeah. everyone only white like, dude like for blocks, and everyone's like, yo, Jacob, let's take a picture with you. Like Matt Dogs on the corner, like, yo, why you take a picture with my girl, yo, like you That's know. Crazy. Getting love right yeah. now. Yeah, getting mad love, but I, I love my supporters. Like you know, I couldn't do it without without them, and and it's just it's a real blessing. So you get a lot of support. What about when you get the shade from like the shade room and all those other online things? Does that shit bother you? Does it get to you? Or? Um, no, I don't really. I mean, comments don't really get to me. I mean, I get pretty much love across the board from everyone. Like as far as like you know, a world shout out to world star. Like I love world star. They they show me mad love. Yeah, they they put a lot of comedians on, on the map. You know and um, you know shade room shows me love. Everyone shows me love. The only thing that pisses me off is if someone posts my shit and they don't credit me. Right. That's a little annoying. Like celebrities do it a lot. I'm like. Dude, come on! You could take two seconds. You, you could take two act. seconds. Right. Some people don't respect me. Like I'm friends with, like I'm friends out with Chris Brown. Like he, I, he, he posted three of my sketches. He's oh, credit. Wow. Yeah, he credits me. Like you know, I'll DM him a sketch. Yeah. So like, like that tells. And he doesn't usually credit people. So that tells me he like likes what I'm doing. He respects me as an artist. Like right. you know, because it takes nothing for like you know Diddy or someone to just put 
at the uh, and that changes. I'll change someone's life. Change you know? life. See, but 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 they're they're stingy about that. You're celebrity. definitely a celebrity network now. You're doing yeah. skits with J.D. Smooth, Odell Beckham. Like, oh, that was a few years ago. That was that you're was. You're definitely was a, a celebrity now. The people know you now. Yeah, absolutely. Any comedians you want to team up with next, like in the future? Uh, comedians I want to team up with next. Um, I'd like to do something with my twin, Michael Rappaport. You know, he follows me now yeah. on Instagram. Oh, like, he follows you. Yeah, we look, but we talk, he comments too and shit on my shit. So. We look like brothers, so I want to do some skit with him, probably. Um, I'm just open to, you know, I'm a big believer in collabo. Like, if you notice one thing in my sketches a lot of it is I work mm. with pretty much everyone that's popping in New York. Like, right. So, um, you know, I just keep working at it, and I take it one day at a time, and I'm loving life right now. Loving life, right? Having yeah. fun? It's good? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so you want to get into the studio, do a little rapping? Yeah, little sure, freestyle? let's do it. Yeah, I got to do it for the people. Let's do it. All right. Set you free, nigga, the truth Every time I step in the booth, I speak the truth Y'all know what I'm bringing to you I bring the truth Motherfuckers know who I be I be the truth When I speak, set, set you free, nigga, the truth nigga. Still, it's your boy, boy, I met, man, what he said, you know where I'm at, you know what it is, that Harlem dude with that Brooklyn bounce, man, I'm here with this new sensation mm. coming up in the game, mm. man, not just an actor, mm. my man's about to spit some bars, and he's getting the exclusive here, you know what, I'm gonna take two steps for and get on out here, let my man do his thing, man, I appreciate that, my brother, let's do it, freestyle shit, y'all ready, DJ Raymo, come on, Power 105, come on, New York City, come on, Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Y'all ain't ready for this. Yo, yo, yo. Get it poppin' on the gram, get yeah, it, bitch, I'm on the come up Cause I'm like a football, yeah, I'm gonna run up Or I'm gonna sun up, yeah, sun up to the squad You step into me, then you step into a guard 5%, yo, man, I keep it so light 95%, man, couldn't street fight How I put it in, man, you know I get it poppin' Cause you know Manhattan, yeah, always staying rockin' Chatted with the cheese, yeah, eyes on the Gouda Man, you see me on the gram, see me on computers Twitter with the fingers, oh, I get it rockin' New York City, boy, bitch, I'm Blood popping, how I'm just doing it, oh I'm like I'm crippy Man I hold it down, this is New York City Always on the grind, always with the level Couldn't really stop, turn the bass with the treble Oh I feel it all, like the Wu-Tang Killer Bees 97 mentality, that is me How I just do, yeah, 32 son I'm about to be number two, moving up to number one Shine like a sun, sunning in the rat race New York City, Jewish lawyer be the case How I do, yeah, the best, yeah, in charge Call me Jewish, yeah, Pablo to the Escobar Yo, that was crazy, he just killed this motherfucker, it's funny, man Thank Yo. you, my brother, appreciate having me Thank on the man. show Great shit, man, you know, give everybody your social media, your Instagram Yeah, everything. absolutely, you can find me at Jacob Burger Actor That's Burger with an E on Instagram uh, Real Jacob Burger on Twitter. Uh, come mess with me. A lot of new stuff coming. Woody Allen film, Wonder Wheel, December 1st with Kate Winslet. Catch me in that. And just stay tuned. Keep following all the people that I work with. You know, New York, we're the comedy wave. So we're going to get wavy. Let's do it, baby. Peace. Thank you. Chocolate, baby. <laughs>